Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here and you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anand Nayar, your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install antix linux on vmware workstation 14 pro now before we dive in the installation part of Antix Linux on VMware Workstation 14 Pro, let us first of all discuss what is Antix Linux. Antix is basically a fast, lightweight and easy to install system D free Linux live distribution CD based on Debian stable for Intel and AMD based compatible systems. So it offers the Antix magic in an environment and suitable for old and new computers and even the computers which were very old about you can say an aged old traditional systems Pentium 3, Pentium 2 they can even afford to install this type of Linux in even in the year 2018 because it is very lightweight and it requires minimum 2.7 GB of hard disk drive. So this is the official website which I have opened that is and I will be uh, giving the link to this website in the description below and if you want to download you can even have this link and I will be also keeping the link in the description below. So th this is where you can download the torrent file and you can find that it is not of very high capacity it is near to about 780 and I will be installing Antix 7 version that is 64 bit on this video. So as you can see on the uh, folder that I've already downloaded it so if I right click and I click on properties you can find that it is about 780 MB so not a big size and it's very simple and very easy to install so just what we have to do is to just open the VMware workstation pro and you just click on create a new virtual machine so click on next so I will just use this option I will install the operating system later so I click on next and I select Linux and because it is Debian based so I just click on Debian 9.x so make it sure that you don't uh, use any other option except Debian 9.x so I click on next and I just type the name that is Antic, Antic X Linux 2018 so whatever name you want to give you can take it so click on next and I allocate about uh, for safer side 15 GB of hard disk space it will be enough otherwise 5 GB of disk space will also be good so click on next and I click on customize hardware and I increase the RAM to 2 GB and I increase the processor to 2 cores and I just click on uh, the new USB CD and I browse on the ISO file so that is Antix 7 so I just click on close and I click on finish so you can see that uh, the virtual machine is being uh, created beautifully so I click on power on this virtual machine so I just click on I finish installing and I click on view and full screen so you can see that there are lots of options which have come that is Antix 17 x64 and what was launched on 24th October 2017 and consistently it will be having some more additions because it is very having active firm and community to upgrade and make it more stable even in 2018 so I just press enter on the first option so you can see that welcome to Antix X header and it is I think so it is very fast 2 GB is much more enough RAM for this so some beeps are coming so here is the menu and uh, I think so that it is a very beautiful wallpaper of a metro station so you can see that some details over here of your system so what you have to do is to just click on 
install option so you can see that NTKX will require all these tools so I click on OK to continue and you have to choose one repository but uh, for better it is for better results it is better to choose the stable that is stretch so I just click on OK so you can see that your Debian and NTKX repositories are set to stretch so I click on OK and now the installer will run so click OK so the first thing is to set the keyboard layout as you can see in most of the Linux so US is OK for me so I click on OK so now you can see that it is having the independent terms of use so I click on next and the SD is 15 G that is OK so I click on next and OK to format and use the entire desk so I click on yes and you can see that it is now creating the partition formatting the swap partition formatting the root partition now and after formatting it is copying the new system so I think so it will not take much time and uh, depending on the speed of the system which I think so 2 GB of RAM is enough it will uh, take about 5 to 6 minutes to do the complete install and even I would say that NTKX is having a very active community if you find any problem suggestion or if you want to promote it or you have any idea to upgrade this uh, installation to make it more stable they welcome your queries in a proper manner so even if you have any corrupted uh, operating system like Windows or any other Linux you can even make this live CD and boot it the system over there and you can recover all your data so this is even you can say blessing for all of you that it's a very stable and very new operating system so even you can see that even I have allocated 2 GB of RAM to, uh, to this machine so RAM is only utilized 230 MB so very very portable I can say So even it is taking less than uh, two or three minutes to install. Not very rocket science. So after that I will be, after installing I will be taking you to this menu whatever it is. Let us go over there after the installation and uh, I will be showing you what options it bundles up when it installs. So almost I can say that whatever you require from any Linux distribution from office to video player from video player to mp3 player from webcam softwares or terminal everything is bundled with this operating system. So let's wait almost 90% is being done. Okay. So very fast and very portable I can say. So no lags or nothing else over there. So it is fixing some configuration now. System is installed so now you can see that select the boot method so the default is grub so I just take it grub under the master boot record only so I click on next and I click on yes so it will take a couple of minutes because grub is a bigger software through which the Linux will be booted so it can take a couple of minutes but not much time I think so that because we have uh, given it suitable RAM and now you can see that the RAM utilization has jumped up to more than 500 MB So let's wait for it to get complete. Okay, so now what we have to do is to type our computer name. So I just give it the computer name as Antex2018. And if you want to have the computer into domain, you can give any name. So for me, it will be okay. That is example.dom will be okay. So I click on next. And here you can set the all the local default settings for your time, for your date and time. So I just uh, go over there and select that is Ho Chi Minh under Vietnam so I click on next and here is a default username so I create one login name of my user okay so here is a password for root so I just click on next so not very even uh, even uh, a newbie can even install this Linux without any hiccup so let's finish 
and now you can see that it has completed so let's click on yes and reboot now so let's wait for it to reboot and give us the main boot screen So till it boots, let us pause the video for some time. So now you can see that the boot options have come. So let us uh, start the Linux. And sometimes if it takes time to reboot, what you can do, you can just power off the machine and you can reboot the machine. So no issues with that. No file corruption. Everything will be going on fine. So no need to worry for anything. So the beep means that uh, we are going to start. Oh yes, so let us log in with my name and the password. So this is where we have the Linux. So if you, if you want to browse the file systems, you can just double click on the files and all the thumbnails are also there. So let's go with the menu and let's see so here we have the terminal we have the file manager web browser which is I think so it is a let's click on this and let's see which browser we have so here we have the editor for personal for applications we have different accessories uh, Mozilla Firefox is a default browser so everything is there like we have the leaf pad word ed uh, text editor Libre Maths games graphics so I think so it is fully fully loaded and it is very good even for the low configuration systems so programming we have Vim also so sound and multimedia we have system tools so even we have the preferences so it is all good so update menu is also there and if I so let's close the tabs so if I go to that is some settings so themes are also there you can go to some simple themes so applications some system tools let's find whether we can find display so command center so driver installer for NVIDIA is also there and package manager is also there and uh, let's first of all change some wallpaper so let's oh my god so lots of wallpapers are there so let's click on open and uh, let's apply it so wallpaper is also changing fine so let's go on this uh, uh, applications okay so lots and lots of options I can find over here so even uh, other settings use a menu wireless settings menu manager firewall so backlit brightness flash player so everything is very fine okay so in this video I have demonstrated how to install that is the Antix Linux on uh, VMware workstation so do give this a shot do like this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel that is Gyan with Ananaya and do comment that whatever you want to have in the near future I will sure try to integrate on my agenda and keep watching and stay tuned to my channel thank you so much for watching this video